a brutal attack at a San Bernardino taco stand. Tonight, the search for the people who kicked and punched a mother and her three daughters who own that stand. And the bandits also got away with the family's cash box. Kick on us, Nicole Comstock is live in San Bernardino tonight with the very latest. Nicole? Well, the family says this started as a complaint about cold food, and they tried their best to make the customers happy, but they just wouldn't let it go. She's the matriarch of the Morales family, Rafaela. And she's muscling through another day over a hot stove under the even hotter sun, cooking sizzling hot meat at her San Bernardino taco stand, Rafaela's Tacos. Even though she was recently assaulted and robbed by a group of disgruntled customers. They kicked my mom in the stomach a bunch of times. Her daughter Paula says they also punched her 13 and 14 year old sisters. That it was so upsetting because it was over something so very petty. Yeah, you know, we gave it to the hop, but they got upset that they let it get cold. She says the three people wearing white pants in this video, two women and a man in their late 20s to early 30s, demanded a refund and more free tacos. And when Rafaela refused to replace the ones they had already eaten, they turned violent, stole their cash bag, and drove away in this white Ford Fusion and this white Nissan Altima. So they stole everything that we had made that day. We can't do anything about it. But Erica Flores did do something about it. I let her know, you know, you're not alone. I'll be out there. I'm a mother just like you. When she and her husband learned about the mother and daughter street vendors being victimized, they said, not again. We're seeing a lot of street vendors being attacked. I don't like it, not one bit. They've been out here at Del Rosa and Highland Avenue for a few days now, physically standing guard over the family because they felt like someone needed to protect them while they work. That's the goal is just try to get the community together, do what you got to do for them. and. Even if it's just you and your husband sometimes. And the family is now raising money to make up for what was stolen from them, also to cover some medical expenses. We have a link to that on our website, kcal9.com. They say they are planning to fight through this, so if you can't donate, they'd love to have you stop by the taco stand for a meal. We're still waiting to hear back from San Bernardino police about their investigation. Reporting live tonight, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.